Hey, what's going on? It's Lewis here from lewisraskin.com, and this is the audio podcast number two, The Life Journal, How to Get the Most Out of Your Life and Achieve Your Fullest Potential. In my previous post, I talked about the 12-week year and how you could use that productivity framework to get more done in 12 weeks than most people do in 12 months. After reading it, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to try out the concepts. However, being the type of person I am, I couldn't help but try to improve upon the system and add my own spin to it. In this post, I'm going to walk you through the different steps of my personal productivity system, called the Life Journal. In the next post, I'll start to break down each part of my Life Journal and share with you my own personal vision, identity, goals, and tactics I'll be using to build multiple businesses. Introduction to the Life Journal, how to get the most out of life and achieve your fullest potential. I've decided to name my productivity planner the Life Journal because, in all honesty, if you go through it, it will set you up for an incredible life and help you to plow through your goals like a tractor through a cornfield. The subtitle for the Life Journal is How to Get the Most Out of Life and Achieve Your Fullest Potential. The entire journal is broken down into three steps. Step number one, create your vision and goals. Step number two, break down your goals into actionable steps. And step number three, weekly awareness. A good analog of why these steps make sense is if you were to imagine that you're a pilot and you own a private jet and you're flying from Florida to London. Before you fly off to London, you would create the best possible route that will get you there the fastest without any bumps. This is like the first time you do your vision and goals exercises. It sets the direction of your life. Once you know where you're going, you would need to make sure that you knew how to get there. You would have to know how to fly the plane, check all of the equipment, know how to take off, know how to operate the plane, know how to land, etc, etc. You would need to know the actionable steps that you will be taking in order to get to your destination. All of this is the part where you break down your goals and ultimate vision into actionable steps. While you're flying to London, you would periodically check in and make sure you're on course and everything was working correctly. This is like checking in on your goals and your vision and doing some self-evaluation. If you start veering off course, in the theoretical example of flying a plane and also in your actual life, you could come back to your quote unquote manual of actionable steps and you'll know what you should be doing. Your weekly awareness is your version of checking in and making sure you're on course. If at any point during the trip you decide that you would rather go to Fiji instead of London, you need to figure out the best route there is and create a new or new actionable steps that will get you to Fiji. In real life, if you ever feel like you want to completely change paths, you would sit down and redo all of the exercises. Everything in the Life Journal will help to create lights to help you guide you on your path to your desired destination. It will help you to create the course or direction that you want in your life and you want your life to move towards. Then it will help you to formulate the actionable steps to get there. Finally, it will help you to evaluate and assess how well you're staying on track and help you to come up with solutions when things aren't happening the way you envision. So, where do I start? Life is a pretty big word. So, when writing a life journal, there are a million and one places to start. As Alan Watts once said, I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? What do you want to do? you must consider the question, what do I desire? This is perhaps the best place to start when designing your life. And this is why the life journal starts with your vision. Your vision. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. That's a quote by Jim Rohn. The life you want to create for your future is being built today. What you do today shapes your future. If you want to know what to do today, know what you want your future to look like. The more clarity you could have in your life, the less stress you will have. Creating visions and goals gives you more clarity. Having clarity in your life motivates you, excites you, and fires you up so you could take charge of each day. There are plenty of exercises you could use to get your thoughts churning. I've added my favorites to the life journal and put them in an order which I believe makes the most sense. There are six parts to the first section of the life journal. In order, they are your perfect day, create your future, the circle of life plus life audit, ultimate vision, which encompasses many different categories like physical body, mind and emotions, relationship, career and business, finances, social and spirituality. Number five is your purpose. Number six is vision board. In section two of the life journal, 
break down your goals into actionable steps, there are four exercises. Number one is your goal setting worksheet, which are practical bite-sized practical steps that will help you to achieve your ultimate vision yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily. Number two is your morning routine. Number three is your weekly blueprint, which is where you write out your weekly schedule. And number four is today's page. This is where you'll write down your day for today. Finally, in part three of the life journal weekly awareness, there is a weekly awareness exercise and a three month awareness exercise to audit yourself and ensure you're doing what you need to do to achieve your goals and turn your ultimate vision into a reality. To learn about each particular exercise, you can click on the links in this post at lewisraskin.com slash the life journal. And if you'd like to be updated when there's a PDF version of the life journal available, just contact me, you know, on here on YouTube or on my blog or Instagram or whatever, and I will send it over to you. And that right there is an overview of the Life Journal, which is my personal productivity management system. Now, if you want more information, head over to lewisraskin.com, leave a comment in the comment box, either there or here on YouTube, or just contact me at Lewis Raskin on pretty much any social media. All right, I will talk to you later and I'll see you in the next audio blog post. You're awesome. I'll see you later. Bye.